Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time though using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome to the Minitab DOE tutorial and what we're basically going to do in this tutorial is we're going to set up a DOE pattern. We're going to set up a DOE pattern ready for analysis. Now just something to say before we get into using the software of course you should spend a day designing your experiment and of course we're going to look at a three factor this is what we're going to do we're going to look at a three factor full factorial and that's the pattern we're going to set up so we, we will have spent a day talking this through we're going to go time five to ten we're going to go temperature 100 no correction 70 90 and then we're going to go pressure One hundred, two hundred. So we have these eight tests. That we're going to be doing in a pattern. So if we take a look at the eight tests, I've just set them up in an Excel spreadsheet. I've already got the data as well collected for this experiment. So let me just show you the experiment set up in an Excel spreadsheet. So here is the DOE. So here's the DOE pattern here. That's the pattern that we want to test. Here's the data, the individual data points that we've analyzed. And of course, here are the columns that we're going to analyze. We're going to analyze how the variables affect the average how the variables affect the standard deviation. So I'm going to show you how to recreate the pattern in Minitab and then it's all set up ready for analysis. So let's go over to Minitab. Okay, here we are in an empty in an empty worksheet. DOE, you will find DOE on the stat graph and of course you can see it here, we can come down and we've got the DOE menu. We are not screening, we are doing a full factorial. And it says, do you want to create? There it is, create a factorial design. So on this screen, what are we going to do? Well, it says two level factorial. How many factors do you have? Three, so I'm gonna change that to three. Then it says, what design would you like? I can do a half or a full factorial. Full factorial is what we want. Click on that. Now in order to create this pattern as it is published in Excel, I'm not going to ask for five replicates. Now the date has got five replicates in it, but I'm only going to ask for one replicate, okay? And I'm going to click OK to this. I'm going to show you why I did that in a second. Now the other menu options come alive. Options, results, and factors. The first one is to go to factors. So now look, I can put in time, five, and 10. If this wasn't numeric, but it was text, like operator one versus operator two, I could change that, I don't need to. Time, all of these are numeric. Temperature, 70 and 90. Pressure, 100, 200. Click OK. 
There are the factors that I've entered. Then it asks me for options. Now, the only thing I'm going to do in the options is take away randomized runs. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK. And now, here is the DOE pattern. There's the pattern there. Obviously, there's some other information about blocks and run order, etc. But the pattern is in the highlighted fields. Now let's go take the data set. I'm going to copy it. So I've pasted it into the spreadsheet. So now look, you've got, I'm going to label these Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. And now look what I need is the summary statistics at the end. So I need a column with the average in there. And I need a column with the standard deviation in there. So I, I have to ask Minitab to calculate row statistics for me. So I'm going to go to, let's have a look, Calc. Calc row statistics. Up comes the window. I wanted to calculate the mean. Which inputs do I want it to calculate the mean from? Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5. And I want you to store the results in the mean column. Click OK. There's the average calculated for me. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the standard deviation. Back to Calc. Row statistics. It's the same inputs, but this time store the results in the standard deviation column. Remember to change that to standard deviation. Click OK, and it works out the standard deviation for me. Now these two columns will be the columns of data that I will end up analyzing. And now you have a table of data with summary statistics that you can analyze in DOE. Now let me just show you why I chose a couple of options that I did. One of them was only to choose one replicate. One of them was only to ask for non-randomized pattern. Let me show you what would have happened if I hadn't have made the choice I did. DOE, factorial design. Create a factorial design. Go to designs. Let's cancel that a second. Yeah, it's still three factors. Go to designs. Take the full factorial. Now, I'm going to ask for five replicates this time, which is my sample size. I'm going to go into options. And I'm going to ask it to randomize as well. Click OK. Go to factors. Time, temperature, and pressure is already in there for me. Click OK. And then click OK to this. Now look what happens. I get 40 tests down in a randomized order in a column. So I would have to have put all the results in a column down here. If I do that, though, I can't see what's going on. I want to be able to look across the row to confirm everything is okay. I want to be able to look across the row to confirm what's happening in my process. Is my process being affected by the levers? And by letting it be in a table like this, I can see much better. Now, this is not the traditional way of doing it. The mathematicians want you to do 40 replicates in random order. But I tend to randomize during my test, but I don't want to randomize when the data is in the computer because I want to see what happened in the results. This is the way that I set up factorial designs in Minitab. And now 
you are ready to do your analysis on those two columns right there. But that is for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Setting up a full factorial in Minitab. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all, or indeed Lean, please drop me a message either in the comments below. Please subscribe also. Um, but you can also leave me an email. If you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice, I'm more than happy to help you out. And of course, if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem, please drop me a line. I hope to hear from you soon.